Um, and there's also been a number of photogrammetry eras, right? So lots of things have happened over the years with photogrammetry. And so if we go back from 1850 to about 1900, um, this is called the plane table era. And the reason is that they literally did all their calculations on, on photographs, on, on big charts or big images, and they were drawing perspective lines and they were doing a whole bunch of stuff. So they called it the plane table era. It was very, very manual. Uh, from 1900 to 1950, there were a lot of advancements in, in aircraft and machinery, and it's this is considered the analog era. So they started to actually come up with equipment, okay, like machinery or devices that would help you to look at, you know, film, uh, two films kind of in stereo and how to make contour maps and things like that. And of course, world wars, um, you know, not a good thing, but um, they do push uh, advancements in technology. And that's kind of what happened there. From 1950 to 1980, 80, that's called the analytical era. That's where a lot of the mathematical concepts and a lot of um, a lot of the theoretical things happened, the techniques and math and math, math excuse me, mathematical models were created. Uh, but it really wasn't until the digital era, which happened about 1980 until today, um, where computing power has really kicked in, you know, and now this is why we can create a, a beautiful 3D model, you know, in, in 15 minutes, you know, on a computer. It's really incredible. And of course, there's some future things, right, that are now hitting. So things like artificial intelligence and things like sensor fusion. And so artificial intelligence, a lot of you have already heard about, you know, what's going on with that? Well, you know, being able to recognize things in the images is really important. And when I look at a picture, I can say, you know, person, car, tree, dog, uh, fire hydrant. But of course, that's not as simple for a computer to do. Um, and there may be some things in artificial intelligence that can help us in the future create better models. For example, glass surfaces or reflective surfaces are not useful. Uh, they're not helpful. They have a, a photogrammetry and laser scanners have a hard time with these types of things. But it could be in the future that, you know, our artificial intelligence may help to sort out some of those things. And then there's sensor fusion. Well, what do I mean by sensor fusion? So on the back, there's a little there's a little thing back here on the bottom, and that little sensor down here that is a lot. That's basically the lidar sensor. So inside of the iPhone, there's a lidar sensor. So the the interesting thing of this, what this company is doing, is they've taken photogrammetry and lidar, and they're fusing these two technologies together. So when photogrammetry starts to fail, or you get the weak spots in photogrammetry, the lidar will kick in, and when the lidar um, is uh, sort of, you know, at its weak point or not working so well, the photogrammetry will kick in. And we get some really incredible stuff here. And so, for example, this car here, I did in like, I don't know, like 30 seconds, like just around the vehicle. 